My daughter loves bubbles. My daughter fucks with bubbles. It doesn't matter who's blowing them. We could be out there with emphysema for all she care. I want to tell her that a mother says the city council meetings where old white politicians blow smoke at her all day, but she's a triple homicide of being black, a woman in arm with an opinion, but my daughter is young and doesn't understand this yet. What she does understand is that mommy's clothes smell like something is burning whenever she picks her up from daycare. I imagine even a two-year-old could tell the difference between a bonfire and a blaze burning the bodies that were too many for the swollen graves to hold. And mommy be just trying to stay away from those valleys with those big white crosses. You know they used to say, you better bury those crosses nigga deep so that no one will ever want to unearth them. There are spots in the south where the souls of black folk be still sitting in the earth. Skeletons lined up spine to spine like the way the ancestors were brought here. And when I say south, I mean southeast Ohio. Where in the good old days, you'll get $75 a head for a turn or runaway. Only $25 if you only return the head itself. My daughter doesn't know this either. But when she learns it, the word black will become physical like smoke off a defiant body. And believe it or not, my daughter's seen a man catch fire before. Every time her father says the word nigga without flinching, she doesn't know about venom yet. But Fang's making an appearance at our dining room table every time her parents come home still feeling like America. No, my daughter knows remote and juice and chair and iPad and ceiling and ceiling and ceiling and ceiling and no. My daughter says no a lot. Did you hide daddy's keys? No. Did you spill your water? No. Are you going to share your toys? No. Is that a new dress for the dance? No. So what you getting into tonight? No. But trust me, it's cool. No, no, no. I stopped punishing my daughter for saying no in hopes that she never feels there's a time she can't say it. Her mother... Her mother once told a man no with a hammer. Her mother once told a man no with a look. Her mother once told a man no with her husband. My daughter doesn't know this story, but I know she appreciates the parts of her where things break. My daughter breaks things because she knows our backyard ain't 40 acres and wants to call it even. My daughter... My daughter breaks things because she understands how easily things can be broken. This metaphor she does understand, which is why she runs to my legs every time the boys her age get too grabby. When the boys get too grabby, she knows daddy has to fight the urge to bury their parents' nigga deep. My daughter loves dogs. My daughter pets dogs like she's killing a fly. My daughter don't know subtlety yet. Considering how many men don't either, I don't know if I'll ever teach her any. But she loves those dogs. Dogs bite. And she knows this. She bites too. She don't really bark though. She laughs like a sickle. Wow. <laughs>